Hello, I'm Reva Godfrey and I'm going to show you how to make my Christmas turkey stuffing recipe using only my mouth. I'm sure you know that no good stuffing recipe is complete without the onion, so we're going to start there. You want to finely dice it. Mm. Really, really small pieces is key. So that it cooks quite nicely when it goes in. It's a bit teary. <laughs> I do love cooking. So there we go. There we've finally diced half an onion. What a lovely way to start. We're now going to dice some carrot. So you're looking to uh, go at about half a centimetre along, put it in your mouth, chop it up a bit further and get it out so we're getting nice even pieces. Moving now onto our celery, the green dream. It takes more calories to eat celery than it does that it gives you. Interestingly, I always use the right hand side of my mouth, but you do what feels more natural to you. It's rather like having a drink, the celery bit. Now time for some aromatic herbs and I'm going to use fresh parsley. I find flat leaf far sexier than curly, so that's what I'm going to use. So we want to de-stem the parsley. And then I'm just going to finely dice a handful. As if by magic, diced parsley, perfect. Next, my favorite friend, the garlic. There is nothing better than the smell of garlic for days and weeks. Be aware that the garlic is very, very hard to handle and it really burns your mouth, but it's incredibly good for you. So stay with it and your stuffing will taste the better for it. And there we go. It's really hurting my tongue, but you know. Now it's time for our bread, the meatier part of the stuffing. I normally say, if you don't know how to target your bread, go at it like a hamburger. Mm. It's a very good loaf. I always choose the same loaf. Perfectly spherical. No bread knives, no blades. A very, very safe stuffing. It's not traditional to use a lemon, but I don't like to do things traditionally, so I'm going to add some lemon zest and lemon juice. And for safety's sake, I am not going to use a zester. It's quite an unusual flavour. Look at these lovely zesty lines. You don't get that with a normal zester at all. And then we're just going to stick our thumb in, wind it in, start to get some of those lovely juices out. And now we're going to bind our stuffing with an egg or two and I'm going to do the whisking in my mouth. There we go, our egg binder. As with any good recipe, we use a lot of butter in our stuffing mix and I don't have a microwave, so I'm just going to warm the butter with the cosy insides of my mouth. A little salt, some black peppercorn. There we go. All seasoned and ready to stuff our turkey. I've got myself a beautiful turkey. Open up and then retrieve our beautiful stuffing. I can almost hear the Christmas carols now. Just push him in. Beautiful stuffing mix. Absolutely perfect and made in 100% safety. And now for a final little drizzle of oil and then our bird is ready to cook. So we're just going to massage that in. And we're just going to bring it round and in and ensure we get a very, very crispy skinned, moist inside bird.
Then using your hands, simply carve up the bird and you're ready to serve. Beautiful, a little blob of stuffing. There we go. And to finish it off, a little sprig of parsley. There we go. And there we have it, cooking with your mouth.